Howdy partners, how's it going? Uh, today I've invested in a cast iron skillet and the reason why is because I go through these things, they last about a year, this is a tef teflon one, non-stick and after about a year they start to lose their non-stickness and you end up having to throw it away and just filling up landfill and so I thought I'd try something out and get one of these cast iron things they're a bit heavy and a bit more expensive than these things but uh, if you treat them right and use them properly they should last a lifetime because it's cast iron and nothing can happen to it um, a little bit untrustworthy about the coating on these ones because um, you know after a while it begins to lose its non-stickability and you wonder what's happening with all these little particles of non-stickability on there what, what, where they're going you're going to be eating them so when you buy these things it's got a kind of protective coat on to stop them going rusty in the shop and first of all you've got to soak them for half an hour in soapy water to wash the coat off then you've got to burn them in so that's what we're going to do now and it recommends that you get the thing really hot and burn it put some oil in put some slices of potato in and physically burn the thing in and that creates then a, a non-stick coat apparently so I'd like to use this pan for pancakes really so let's burn it in so I'm going to put the blower on because there's going to be a bit of smoke in here and uh, I don't want to stink the whole house out. Well, you have to sacrifice some potatoes for this. Because you have to burn the potatoes. You can't eat them afterwards. And it says on the instructions that you've got to burn these till they're almost black. Right, slowly changing colour the pan, going darker. So the idea is the, uh, this, I guess it's some co sort of carbon uh, layer you burn onto there and that's what creates the non-stick. Although I've got a horrible feeling that frying eggs in this thing will just go solid on there but live and learn, let's see what happens. Ooh, it's getting quite hot this handle though. Up to there now it's hot. It's got to give me more power. As you can see, it's changing colour now. The bottom of the pan's going darker colour. It was all. Um, it was all silvery before, but now it's going dark. I'm going to try it out with pancakes afterwards, see if, they, see if this non-stick idea works. Quite enjoyable to purposefully burn something. Mob speed! Okay, I think that's good. It's looking pretty good, I think. Looks kind of non-sticker. Okay, now's the moment of truth. We test out this iron pan, this skillet, a bit of oil in there. And it's quite possible that the first pancake will stick because that often, that's often the case. So, let's see if it works. If 
first one sticks, that's pretty normal. But if the second one sticks, then that's not good. And we've just wasted all our money. It's looking a bit stuck. I'm a bit wary about using those non-stick ones. I often think that that Teflon coating is coming off on there. This is great. It needs non-stick. Like I say, they cost about three times as much as an aluminium pan. And as I said, the aluminium pan seems to wear out after a year. So within three years it should have paid for itself with the added bonus of not getting uh, some kind of toxic waste in your body as well. Look at that, it'll be perfect. Works great! So I think we'll give the iron skillet the big thumbs up. That's Turk. That's original. That's Deutschland. Turk. That's original. Made in Germany. Since 1857. Quality from tradition. Have a great day.